What is poppin' people? Welcome back to 541 Fisherman. My name is Devin. I am the host of the channel for everyone that's new around here. So today I am out here on a beautiful, glorious sand flat pumping some sand shrimp. Um, you guys obviously clicked on the video because you want to know uh, how to build one of these bad boys and pretty much what to look for and how to pump sand shrimp. So earlier I went at my house, I showed you guys how to make one of these, you know, what I guess it involves making it. So let's go ahead and cut back to my house really quick so that you guys can see how to make one of these. Okay, everybody that has tuned in, we're gonna get right into it now. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what you need and then how to build it. First, we got two inch PVC pipe. So pretty much at one point, this was 10 feet tall. I cut it in half. Next, we have our table of assortments. You're gonna need a saw which this was already used to cut this, I already cut it. Next, two, two inch caps. They've already been primed. I did that beforehand. Um, what you do is right here on the top, there's a little thumb hole. And I'll actually, I'll show you guys how to use that. Like once we get into to the, how to pump sand shrimp portion of the video. You have two of those, one for each piece of PVC pipe. Then you now have like your PVC primer, and PVC cement. I was getting ready to talk about the PVC primer and cement and then the wind rudely interrupted me. Anyway, so if you don't want to, or if you don't want to spend like the $7 for a primer and cement, like, you know, combo, you could just use super glue. Um, honestly, you could just put the cap on if you really wanted to get you know, really cheap with it. So before we get really like deep into this, this piece of pipe, at Lowe's was $10. It was like $10 and like 39 cents. These caps were $1.59 each, okay? So it was like $14 total. Which I don't know if that math adds up, but it was like $14 and 20 something cents. To build two of these, it cost me $14. Because I already had this stuff in my house. But if you were to go buy like an actual sand shrimp, or it would just really work for sand shrimp. It clams, you're better just to go dig for them. But one at Walmart, the pop up an ad right here. You can see they're like $65. Could be more. I have no clue. Last time I went there, they were like $68. You can make two of them for $14. That is $7 a piece. And you guys are going to see that it is going to work just as well because I have one of the expensive ones or something very similar to what they have at the store. So let's get into putting these together. Now this portion, you take your beautiful medium clear PVC cement, your beautiful purple prime cap. Take it, be generous, load it in there. Now take your pipe, you put it onto the already primed end. Take it, slide on there as far as you can. And that is literally it. Pretty simple, kind of self-explanatory. Take. Do it again, be generous, really like load that stuff in there. I didn't even really get that much. Do it, just do it again, honestly. Same thing, take your other one. You're just repeating the steps from the first one, put it on and really push it as far as you can on there. And there you have it. I'm actually gonna show you guys a really cool tip really quick. Um, I just have to go get the secret tool for it. Just got out of the, uh, Old Betsy shop here, everybody. Um, this is the secret tool of choice. It is a file. You might say, what are we using a file for? Well, take your pipe. This is pretty much all you're gonna do, right? That did a little bit as you can see, but you're just gonna sit here and just file across. And it takes a little while, but pretty much all you're trying to do is make, if you can see there, that edge is less abrupt as an edge like that. So when it's trying to pierce into the sand, it goes into the sand easier than a flat surface does. So we're gonna do that to both of these. And uh, yeah, let's go get some sand shrimp. Get some sand shrimp. Okay, welcome back. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that. So in the video, I think I had said something about explaining to you guys what this hole on the top of the sand shrimp gun does. So pretty much here's what happens, okay? 
take the sand trip gun, right? You just have a hole here that you're trying to pump. If you look behind us, there is a bunch of holes that we've already pumped and we've already got some sand trip uh, before filming. So come over here and check this out. So here's what happens, okay? You're pushing into the sand, right? This whole tube is full of air. So what you're gonna do is when you push down, you can hear all that wind is, or wind, the air is being forced up out of the tube and out of this hole that you drilled. Pretty much when you're a kid, maybe you're an adult, I don't know, you go to McDonald's and you take a straw and you put it in your soda and you put your thumb over the straw and you pull out the straw and it still has soda in it. Well, that's the same effect of what's gonna happen to this. You're just gonna put your finger over this hole, hold it, grab the pipe and pull it up out, right? And you see all that stuff just came out, right? And what happens is those sand shrimp go into that hole and the sand around the you know, cavity all the way down is falling into it, which is forcing those shrimp up. So sometimes what happens is if you don't see any come up right away, push that thing back in there, cover that hole again and pull it out and try to run it again. And sometimes they'll be in those trails that you get, but this hole doesn't happen to have any sand shrimp in it. So I'm gonna be manning this one. The camera lady is gonna be manning this one. This is like pretty much the same thing of what I popped up on the screen for you guys earlier. This is just one I built. This is just a fancy schmancy one. So without any more, catch you guys on the GoPro. Let's go catch some sand shrimp and hope you guys enjoy the video. Any shrimp? There's some big old tank clams right there. Alive? Huh. All right. Alive! Wah. Push it down. Ooh. Sometimes it's kind of hard. And also, don't cover the hole with your hand when you're pushing it because it makes it really difficult. Nada. Also, I like to do it where there's more water too, like right here where she's going. If you can find a spot that's got more water. It's a rock. Anything? Pump this hole out. Hoo -ah. Any shrimp in there? Did you find any? Weird. Any shrimp? It's really hit and miss though, to be honest with you. Like some of these holes have shrimp. Oh, What's that, baby clam? Oh my goodness, that's a mini. Ugh. Oh, look, look, look. I just got one. I just got one. Got him. Am I recording? I hope so. Yeah, I'm recording. Nice. Jeez. Boom. Look at that. We got a keeper. That was. Nice. Let's pump this hole again. Oh, look, look, look at that guy. Look how cool that guy is. Get him. Dude, he was just mobbing. Oh, no, I dropped him. Where is he? Yeah, there's a bunch right here. That guy's kind of small. I'll let him go. That wind is awful. We're gonna keep trying to pump that hole. Come on, shrimp. Really? What is by my foot? What is that? Oh my goodness. Oh no, no, he's going to my hole. <laughs> look, I need a look. Look at that, guys. I was like, what was by my foot? And I just found a big old tank freaking clam. Here. Dude, I was stepping on him. That was so crazy. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Camera lady and I are on our way back. Um, how's that person? Doing? Anyways, so make sure you guys, if you're new, hit the subscribe button. If you want to see any other cool how to videos, make sure you guys drop down in the comment below. Um, yeah, that is it. I'll see you guys' faces on the next episode. Stay fishy until next time.